Area is clear. We'll go ahead and uh, choose a landmark. That mountain over here in front of us. We'll sync up our heading bug. We're at 7,500 feet on our altitude. All right. Power on stall. Uh, we were going to practice them probably both with the uh, landing gear up and landing gear down. Okay. It will be specified by the examiner which way they're going to perform the maneuver. So, Mr. Examiner, would you like the gear up or gear down? Let's go with the gear down because we're going to simulate an after takeoff stall here. All right. Roger that. Okay. So, we're going to go ahead and get that gear down. We're well below the gear extension speed. All right. Once I get that gear down, I'm going to reduce those throttles back approximately 30% uh, or so. Okay. And from that point, we're going to just hold our altitude to bleed off the airspeed to about 85 knots. Okay. So there's 30%. Airspeed's coming down. Altitude's held. I'm going to focus on my reference point outside as, long, as well as my heading bug. Upon reaching 80 knots, we'll come over here to the throttles and we'll go full throttle. Okay. Power lever's full, and then we'll pitch up to about 20 degrees nose high. Uh, commercial standard. Again here, first indication of the stall, whether it's the buffet or the stall horn. Me, you're not a double I. Sometimes you're going to get one before the other in this airplane. It's kind of random. Oof. So at this point, 80 knots, we'll go ahead and advance Boy, the throttle levers forward while simultaneously increasing the pitch so that we don't get an early stall horn. Approaches don't matter. I can't read. Increasing my pitch oh, up just read. short of 20 degrees nose high, holding my heading, trying to keep that rectangle there right in the center. A little bit of right rudder in this climb here. Slowing down, slowing down. There's the stall horn there. I'm going to slowly let that nose come down, reduce that angle of attack, increase some of that airspeed. All right. Continue this climb. Positive rate here on the VSI, at which point we can go ahead and start bringing that gear up, get that drag out, and continue our climb. Roger. And that's the power on stall. And then something to note, uh, for you guys coming over from only flying single engine airplanes is you don't have to make the nose go pronounced so far down. You're really just letting it sink a little bit and you're, you're still keeping a, a, a positive uh, angle of attack. It, it's not throwing the nose down and regaining lift. It, the airplane has enough power to power out of it. So you're not throwing the nose down. <laughs>